Hey guys, it's me, Rowan Huang. Ah, it's our Friday coffee break time. What does it mean is um, I can be irresponsibly <laughs> to express my own opinion. <laughs> and I may be literally incorrect, but that's okay. That's my you know freedom on a Friday. So anyway, before I start, let me introduce myself. My name is Rowan Huang. I'm an author, spirit coach, and also a psychic. Today, we're going to talk about the best way to revenge someone. Well, literally speaking, <laughs> I'm not supposed to suggest you guys to revenge anyone. Well, you guys are supposed to treat the world with love, forgive everyone, and, you know, let it go. <laughs> but that's kind of crap. Um, we are emotional people. <laughs> When we get hurt, our first intention is to hurt like someone bad, right? <laughs> and the reason I want to talk about this topic is through the years of consultation, I have a lot of people come to me, mostly because they were hurt in the relationship, they were hurt in the family, they were hurt in, you know, colleague and things like that. And then they are seeking a way to mend their soul or the feeling, right? So, but a lot of time I see people, um, almost right away they try to damage themselves. That is, they try to make the person who did, did, um, mistreated them feel bad, guilty, right? Or sometimes even feel sorry what it did to them. So, or, you know, first response, we probably, you know, yell at people back, you know, throw the anger in them because we're so upset with them. How can they do this to us, right? A lot of time, people feel when they've been looked down by their relatives, by certain friends, they feel like they want to be rich so one day they can throw money on their face, right? Well, I'm not lying to you guys. I was like that. <laughs> I, I felt like that toward my dad when I was a kid. Or, you know, some even worse case, I, I seen her deal with some client that even consider killing themselves just so those people who have been mistreated them will ever feel sorry right but first don't ever think about killing yourself really because we already talked about it in a very very early episode what happened you know when you kill yourself you trap yourself in your own story and then guess the worst of all what do you have to do not only you are trapping that story over and over and over until you let it go the worst part is next life. You had to live the same story again. <laughs> so if you want to ever revenge someone, seriously, don't do that to yourself. They can do that to themselves, but don't do that to yourself <laughs> because it's not worth it. You're not going to live your life again, grow your life again to be, you know, treated exactly the same way by some other people and then do the same thing again, right? But a lot of time what I'm saying, the reason I'm saying here is a lot of time people fall into the story and feeling really sorry of themselves. So they damage their body, they feed, they, they continue eating junk food or they, they just feeling, totally feeling hopeless. So what it is, is they, they want people to really feel sorry and see, and basically tell them in their face, they see what you have done to me, right? Here, my personal opinion, as I say, Friday is my personal opinion time. <laughs> How many things we've done in our life we feel sorry for? Really? You know, as you, you normal people, even me, anybody, even the sin, they probably have done something they feel sorry for. Can they get over it? Yes. Eventually they will get over it. But you know something? This is something that they will never get over. You know, regret that there's something bad, you know. Really, time will mend that. But one thing that people will never let go of is when they know that they go of something so great in their life. You know what I mean? Like, you know, if you ever put yourself in that sort of reason, we don't treat, we don't think about revenge that way. It's, that way is because most of us are smart enough. We don't do that. When we see the good thing, we know to seize it, right? But the thing is, if someone ever missed that chance, the chance they know that can make them so good, right? Make them a better person than they are, make them successful and things like that, they regret that for the rest of their life, right? So really, dealing, you know, I really should 
shouldn't talk about this because my husband said I have to watch out what I say, right? <laughs> One day my my daughter might come back and look at this. But anyway, if you are my daughter, what I try to say to you is, <laughs> it's not something I'm proud of. But after dealing through with so many boyfriends, I deal with all kind of emotion, all kind of feeling, all kind of sensation. Like you know. Of course, you're getting to a shitty relationship. All you wanna do is make them feel sorry, and you wanna revenge back so they feel the pain that you're feeling through, right? But I feel I through all the years I noticed something. The best way, really, the best way, the best way to revenge of all is to make yourself a way better person, a person that they will feel sorry or like they have done that to you, a person like. They would think, "What was I thinking? Like, what was I thinking?" Because you know what you do if you continue corrupt yourself, you continue mistreating yourself. You only prove them right, really, right? Because when they look at you, they just gonna think they might feel guilty. But how long will the guilt feel? Come on, let's be honest here. How long will the guilt feel, right? But what you were doing is when they look at you, and then they would think, "Thank God I love you," right? You just prove me right. Because you don't prove any value, why I should stay with you, right? You you just validate my feeling, right? So really, what do you do is if you continue mistreating your body and mistreating yourself, disrespect yourself. What it is is you giving them a chance to think they make the right decision, and then no matter how sorry they feel. That sense of I make the right decision will always overpower that guilt. So really, they don't feel that bad after all. But if they come back and look at you, and then they think of that, like, what was I thinking? Why would I possibly thinking I'll either break up with you, or look down at you, or say such a thing, right? What it is is that sensation of sense of you know. Feeling sorry, sense of feeling regret, that regret, or you know the regret out. It's the same feeling. You could have won the lottery, but somehow you miss that chance. You know that's gonna stick for your life, right? <laughs> so really, as a spirit coach, let's go straight. I should I should ask you guys to let go and forgive. But since it's Friday and I'm a human being, <laughs> I say yes. As long as we're human, we have a sense of revenge. But really, if they ever, ever in any situation, as I read through Lala Klein, work with Lala Klein, seriously, guys, the best way, the best way you ever want to revenge anybody is make yourself a way better person. Make yourself a person that is so good, like they will feel sorry, like they choose to step out of your life. You know what I mean? If each time you do that, you will realize how not only they will feel sorry, you'll feel how much better you feel good about yourself, and you'll realize that attitude is gonna help you collect good thing that is going to happen in your life, and then they will be sorry for. So when people tease you, really, I got teased my whole life, right? People would call me names. Say anything to me. If I'm gonna buy into their story, what it is, I'm gonna sit at home and cry and do nothing and not stepping out. I probably overfed myself and I probably hundred pounds more than I am right now. What am I doing? I'm just proving them right, isn't it? The only thing I'm gonna make a difference. The only thing I'm gonna make them feel sorry one day, really, is make sure I am happy. And I look good, and I enjoy my life. And to prove it to them, how my life is so much better without them. You know what I mean? That really <laughs> the only suggestion I can give you to you guys. I know we cannot avoid those people to show up in our lives. Sometimes those people, even colleague, even the boss, you know, even some random friend. They will say something, right? They say something. They mistreated us. They bully us, and they do whatever, right? We cannot avoid them because they are everywhere, right? But do we wanna 
be convinced by them and be the person like they despise or do we want to be someone different just because someone doesn't like me that doesn't mean the whole world doesn't like me you know what I mean because I already talked about that before so if someone in your living life you think you think is putting you down making you little or you know not loving you disrespect you or whatever whatever really instead of being convinced by them and believe you are that person that is worthless and all that really guys one advice prove them wrong prove them wrong live like a person that they will feel sorry like they did this to you one day not sorry like you mistreating you yourself you know but sorry like oh my goodness how can I let such a good chance slip out of my hand how can I let such a great opportunity you know gone all of my life you know what I mean make them feel regret in that regard right so anyway this is my personal opinion <laughs> and as usual it's Friday time let's just talk about something casual so again uh, next week is our Canadian holiday so I won't be doing Periscope until Wednesday but <laughs> hope you guys enjoy a great weekend and really think about it you know a lot of things happen in your life your life is not gonna be all happy because really if our lives are all happy we will end up not knowing what happiness is but if you happen to have those kind of people in your life really stop going downhill stop proving them right right by making an action proving them wrong you will you will see the result that like satisfaction of revenge you know this is my evil look <laughs> but you will have that satisfaction I guarantee you and you will you will be happy that day that they are out of your life so anyway till then next Wednesday um, if you like what I'm doing um, jo always join me live on Periscope or go to my Facebook or subscribe my YouTube channel or go to my website ruowen.com so till then next Wednesday I will see you guys then Bye-bye.